Hi, I'm Nea Tomšić. I'm an artist from Slovenia, uh, presenting here in Wonderland Festival in Brescia. My work, the Opium Clippers, together with Silvia Viviani. Io sono Silvia Viviani, sono un'attrice, sono italiana, ma da parecchi anni lavoro a Lubiana e quindi in Slovenia ho iniziato a collaborare con Nea in questo progetto di Opium Clippers. E ecco quanto. <laughs> So the Opium Clippers is a theater essay based on artistic research on the history of tea and opium trade in the 19th century in China and involving also Turkey, India, Britain and the United States. And it consists of a set of ceramics that I painted with stories of this history, from this history. Um, they involve around 150 years, and during this performance, tea is served uh, five times in the form of uh, an adaptation of the Chinese Gong Fu tea ceremony, while I tell stories. Sì, la necessità di, di aggiungere una, una performance è arrivata da le numerose repliche che sono state fatte in Italia quest'anno, um, quindi a me è affidata la parte di testo, di narrazione. Uh, Nea, che è l'autrice, rimane, uh, a lei rimane la responsabilità del rito del tè, eh, quindi la cerimonia del tè è, è ancora nelle mani di Nea e la narrazione spetta a me. Um, during my research I was, I started thinking about how this, the results of this research could be presented. And at first, uh, since I'm a visual artist, I thought about maybe doing drawings. But then the history that I wanted to tell was so rich and so full of very important details um, that I thought very few people would really learn if I made drawings. So I decided to do a tea ceremony um, and paint the history on ceramics also because ceramics have historically always been um, used as objects of representation in different countries. Um, for example, one of the things that maybe I don't say often in one of the tea ceremonies of the opium clippers is that also many of the opium clipper ships had their own porcelain with their own um, painted histories, for example, of their families of, or their owners or so on. Um, so, the ceramics normally celebrate um, royalty or presidents or so on, but the paintings on these particular ceramics paint, uh, present very minor histories, let's say, and individuals that have significantly impacted um, the world we live in right now, um, but that we maybe never heard of. So, um, and then about the tea ceremony, for me it's important that we drink tea, um, that the people who come to Opium Clippers also drink tea and have this bodily experience, which is not only a personal experience, but it becomes also a communal experience of, and during the tea ceremony, Hopefully, the drinking of tea gets a new dimension, a different meaning, because while drinking tea, we learn about the complex history that made drinking tea possible. So um, this is the sea witch. I don't know if you can see it. So the cup has painted the opium clipper inside. There are five cups in the tea ceremony. Each one represents one ship, and then on the outside of the cup, there are poppy leaves and uh, tea leaves that kind of merge into one, in one, into one another because the story that I tell talks about the legal economy of tea and the illegal economy of opium in history and how they were supporting each other. Uh, le ultime due repliche nel contesto di Wonderland Festival sono oggi alle 7 e domani alle 7 al Palazzo Moca. Eh, quindi la cerimonia del tè vi aspetta. <ride>